Hey, this is Topher with OS Training. A couple of weeks ago, I was making a wonderful blog post here on my blog. And it was awesome, and it was great, and I hit publish, and I tweeted about it, and people retweeted it, and it was great, and I realized I misspelled something in the title. So I went and I fixed it, but then I realized that, because WordPress is awesome, it updated the slug as well, which means that URL that I tweeted about and everybody retweeted no longer existed. I was getting 404 errors, and I needed a solution. And the solution I ended up with is a plugin called Redirection. And we're going to take a look at Redirection and how it works and how it can work for you. Redirection basically allows you to say, when someone comes looking for one URL, instead, send them to another. And it does some pretty cool magic behind the scenes that helps with Google. It also can log 404 errors so that you can know where people are trying to get to and then you can help redirect them to where you want to go. So first let's take a look at a little bit of what's going on. A 404 error in the web world is a page not found or an image or anything else really. If you've been on the web for very long, you've seen one. You may not have recognized it, but they're all over the place. They're extremely common. What most people don't realize is that there are many, many kinds of HTTP codes. For example, a successful code is 200. When everything works great, a code 200 is sent out. A code that we're going to use to our advantage is called 301, moved permanently. Now it's one thing to simply redirect someone to the proper page. It's another thing to include the 301 moved permanently code. Now the end user doesn't care. They're just happy that they got to the right place. But Google cares. They may come to your site looking for the bad URL. And if all they get is a 404, then they're probably going to stop just indexing you altogether. However, if they get a 301 and end up someplace that they should be, they make a note of that and they say, hey, this bad URL we had is moved over here now. Let's just flush that bad one from our system and use the new good one. So we're going to use redirection to do all of that in a nice, comfortable interface in WordPress. Here's some information about what it does. It's made by John Godley last updated just a few weeks ago as of the time of this video 400,000 plus active installs so it's well used well maintained and as you can see here well translated in our next video we'll take a look at how to use redirection